Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this episode I travel to the Golden Triangle in the far north of Thailand to the borders of Myanmar and Laos. Now here's a conundrum, should you say Lao or Laos? People who are born in the country say Lao and their language is Lao. Yet, in many countries, the spelling is L-A-O-S, so I guess you can say Lao or Laos. After all, natives of Germany call their country Deutschland. Confused? Well, yes, so am I. Today is Tuesday the 5th of March, the end of my first week of the holiday, and today I'm travelling to the far north of the country, to a place called the Golden Triangle. It's where the Ruak and Mekong rivers meet and it's also where the borders of Myanmar and Laos are located. So I'm at Chiang Mai bus station right now waiting for the bus to take me to the Golden Triangle. Chiang Sien is the town name seems to be. So we're off, bus left, get on time. So I've arrived at the town and the hotel is located at the Golden Triangle viewpoint and I've got a tuk-tuk driver here who's taking me to the hotel. I've arrived now at my next destination, the Golden Triangle, and this is my accommodation, the Quest Hotel. The Quest Hotel and uh, first impressions, it's a lovely room, workspace, fridge, TV. A good size double bed there. And I have a really lovely balcony just here. hotel does have its own restaurant which is called the Bliss. So it's now time for a walk around the area. The lady on reception, her name is Tutu. I asked her for a map but she told me that I didn't need one. Everything is quite close by, easy to find. I don't know whether to turn left or right out of the hotel but there seems to be more buildings to the right hand side. Straight away I can see a gate down there uh, and it seems to go down to the river. I've walked down and here's the sign for the Golden Triangle. And just below me now you can see some boats there, which I think are the ones that take you for a trip along the river. There is the Mekong River. And the country you can see on the other side of the river is Lao. And alongside is the River Port, which I guess is where you buy the tickets. Now down to the jetty. There's people there boarding one of the boats. I had a word with the lady on the ticket office. You can either do 20-minute hop on one of the boats down the river and back but uh, the one that I favour slightly more is the half-hour trip down the river which stops on an island which technically belongs to Lao although you don't actually cross over onto the mainland and just here close by is a nice little restaurant where I may have a meal well, the prices at this restaurant are very reasonable. 
and I chose them to have the stir fried pork with basil and rice, of course. There's various soups and salads also on the menu, and the price of the pork that I'm having is right about three pounds. I initially thought this was all the same restaurant, but there's various units. No doubt we'll have to have their own separate venues. The waitresses, when they're not serving, seem to be doing some needlework. I don't know if it's knitting or if it's crochet. I'll just on a postcard, please. And here we are, lunch is served. Here then is the main viewpoint where you can see the meeting of the two rivers. With the Ruwak River on the left hand side. And beyond is the country of Myanmar. And to the right hand side you can see the Mekong River and the country of Laos. Up the steps here, you can see the big Buddha statue. In the past, over the years, the borders of Myanmar and Laos, of course, have been famous for the trafficking of opium. And here at the Golden Triangle, there's even an opium museum. But also, the lady that runs the hotel where I'm staying has got a unit that's a coffee house. Nine o'clock at night and I'm having a beer. The Golden Triangle area is quite laid back and subdued. But I found my way to a bar This kind of square, which is made up of quite a few separate cafes and bars with some music being played. And here you can see the, uh, the area of bars. Wednesday, the 6th of March, and today I'm taking a boat trip down the Mekong River. But yesterday I met the owner of the hotel, her name is Tanya, and she owns her own little coffee shop just around the corner from the hotel. And in her words, she's invited me for a coffee date. So I mustn't keep the lady waiting. So Tanya's coffee shop is about a couple of hundred yards up the road. And it's uh, located right next to an opium museum which I intend to visit later. Okay. So this is the lovely Tanya and this is her lovely coffee shop as well. Called Bliss Coffee Shop. Right, so on my way down the jetty here to get on the boat to take me down the river and on the island that belongs to Lau. Going up a fairly steep gangplank here. I'm going to need to show my passport in a minute to get on to this island that belongs to Lao. Well, after a bit of confusion, I think I've found my way to where I have to show my passport.
and this is the island of Dong Xiao. So confusion over, I went to the office there which I thought was passport control but apparently I don't need to show my passport at all. A man appeared from nowhere and gave me a ticket to get onto the island so now I'll have a walk around. So just to clarify, although I'm on an island in the middle of the Mekong River, I am officially in the country of Laos. I've walked my way through some bars and now just coming up to a little park area here. That's about as much as I can show in the 30 minutes that I've been allotted. So now back on the little boat and back to Thailand. again then back into Thailand. Well I have to say that was a lovely experience and I'm back in Thailand now, back on Thai terra firma as they say. And I'm now going to have a beer somewhere and then go to the Opium Museum. Well actually that was a bit of a bonus I didn't realise but um, Tanya had actually been waiting on the quayside for me to come back. I thought she'd just drive back to the um, hotel. But um, I'm just going to have my beer at the hotel and I've ordered up a snack of cheese balls to have. Incidentally, while I was at Tanya's coffee shop, I noticed a guitar hanging up on the wall. And I actually played the guitar and sang while I was at the bar. The guitar belonging to the boy that uh, was helping out serving in the shop. And by the way, it might be worth giving a little plug to my other YouTube channel called Sing and Tell One, where you can listen to a few of my own self composed songs. So here is the Opium Museum, and I'm going to take a look around. There now follows a brief slideshow of the museum's exhibits. If you need to read any of the information plaques, just pause the video. It's now quarter to nine and I'm back at the food court. So I'm gonna have a meal here. On my last night here at the Golden Triangle. And from the menu, I'm going to have the Thai noodle with pork. This is quite a nice little food and drink area, really just a few steps from the hotel and here's a nighttime scene of the Mekong River with the lights of Lao on the opposite bank
And that's the end of episode 4. In episode 5 I make a two day journey to the seaside town of Wahin, taken by bus, internal plane flight and by train. Feel free to subscribe to the channel and when searching for the channel in the YouTube search box be sure to enter the channel name exactly as written to ensure that all the videos will be displayed.